This was the team that you opened up the season with down in Washington, D.C. How do you feel your team has progressed since that opening game to where you are today? I think we, we did a bad game uh, in the first game uh, this season. Uh, having said that, we shouldn't lose the game. Um, but we need to do different uh, things better and, and more different uh, today than we did uh, up, in, up in Washington. So we have had some really good games uh, coming into this game. But um, it's a new game and Washington is improving as well. So, so it's going to be tough. Ronnie, is there something specifically that you've wanted to work on with this team? We're nine or ten games into the season now, but something specifically that you are working hard at the training ground that you want to see today against Washington, D.C.? I think you see a lot of the things against Atlanta. Uh, I think it was a step back uh, against New England. The first half there was uh, too open. I think uh, we want to work hard together as a team, be very compact, win the ball as high as possible up in the pitch. And we do that. Uh, now it's about kill people, keep kill teams off when you get the opportunity. When you are in the last third of the pitch inside the 18 yard box, to, to create the overload, take advantage of the overload, and uh, of course execute uh, the chances we get. If we do that, then we're going to be a very hard team to beat. Uh, to beat. Ronnie, DC is a team that hasn't scored a lot. They only have nine goals in the 10 games this season, but they also haven't given up a lot, especially recently. They've gone three and a half games without allowing a goal. What do you think is the key to break down this team? Uh, first of all, as I said, we, we need to be the best we can be. Uh, and they're a good team. They have been a little bit like us, a little bit unlucky or, or not good enough in the, the final situation. They should have scored uh, more goals than have done. Um, so so for us it's we know they're going to come out with a lot of tempo they're pressing high it's about finding the spaces the, where we are we know where we are uh, and then getting overload uh, move the ball it's very hot today as well so to, to keep the ball is going to be important um, and when we defend we have to do it together so we, so we get a compact good game with uh, small spaces for for them to play in and then if we do that they will do technically mistakes and we we can take them on counter attacks as well Gaffer, I'm just wondering after last season how difficult it was, the frustration from the players, the frustration from yourself and us, obviously no fans in attendance, but it was a, a difficult year all around for most people out there. Is there something that you have taken away from that season that you've tried to maybe implement in this season that you've added to your own coaching style? I mean, maybe it's obviously dealing with international culture here. I know you dealt with it also at Glasgow Celtic, but here in New York and here in Major League Soccer, it's a quite unique league. It is, and um, you know, you learn all the time when you, you jump on new projects and you take chances in life. And I've done a lot of chances uh, the last 15 years, and you know, that's that's uh, make you to grow. Um, and you also have to deal with hard times. Uh, but I feel now very comfortable in a way that I'm uh, confident in what I'm doing. Um, I feel home here. Um, I feel safe. Um, and I have fun, and uh, these things is important, and that sh shines into the p players as well. That's what I want them to feel, you know, to feel very secure in what you're doing, and safe here, and at the same time we have to have a lot of fun. Um, if we do that, then we get the best out of our players, and uh, they develop all the time, and then with the potential we have, we're going to be a better and better team, and I think we have improved a lot, and we're going to keep on working. Ronnie, you mentioned the heat, and I know there's a whole formula with the temperature, the humidity, and all to determine if there's a hydration break. I'm going with the very scientific approach. It just feels really hot right now. Um, <laughs> does, does that change your tactics at the start of a match, knowing that midway through the half you're going to get a little bit of a break? Yeah, uh, we, we don't change any tactics, but you have to have a, aware of that. If you start to run one and one all over the pitch, we're going to be empty before it starts, and, uh, and that's... Uh, you have to do everything together. You have to keep the ball more than you normally do. If not, sometimes you have to sit a little lower and let them play. So, so we don't open up, as I said, and get big, big spaces all over the pitch. Then it's going to be tough. So I know the players have played a lot of games in this kind of heat. Um, so they are experiencing that way as well. But um, uh, I, we, we are ready. We know what we want to do. And then uh, I'm looking forward to the game. And, and hopefully we, we do it in a good way and get three points and put ourselves in a really good position in the in